salutes, salutes, salutes. Welcome to the Real Big Fruit Podcast. I am your host, the Real Big Fruit. <clears throat> and today, I am recording a double banger for you, episode one and two. Where Things Went Wrong in LG in 2002. Segment 1. Snakes in the motherfucking grass. Segment 2. Jealousy and envy. Yeah, man, listen, man. It's the end of the year. And I ain't taking no negative energy into 2023. So I'm going to get some shit off my chest. Y'all all saw how shit played out with Big Fruit. Bunch of crazy shit in 2022. Bunch of lame niggas. Corny niggas. Ain't even worth talking about because on some G shit. Lord knows I ain't going to never see a nigga again. But if I do, I'm going to jail. Psh, the family already know what it is. Bell money on Dead. Yeah, so it ain't even worth talking about when it comes to certain niggas. But when it comes to LG niggas, wow, this is what we're gonna talk about. Yeah, man, y'all heard the ops getting that fruit, dragging my name all on YouTube. Saying all types of fabricated nonsense about me. Then shit got deeper. Niggas who I thought was my bros. Was, was scheming and plotting on a nigga. Like I did something to him. Feeding the ops false information. And then the ops was like, yeah, they, they, them niggas that, yeah, them niggas said it. Broke my motherfucking heart, son. Dragged me and my wife all through the motherfucking mud. We ain't deserve that. Not from the bros. Fuck I ever do to the bros. Word. Blew my motherfucking mind, son. That's about what? Two months ago? Niggas ain't hit my motherfucking jack Try to explain they self Niggas ain't hit my jack To apologize about what the fuck went wrong Cause the whole world heard it Like Or maybe they just was like Fuck that it is what it is I ain't say nothing Cause I'm done talking to the ops I just told y'all what it is right Nigga going to jail <laughs> So I ain't respond to that shit. But peep this shit. I know the bros ain't sit back thinking I ain't gonna say something to them about all this shit. Them niggas know me better than that. They know me better than that. I know them niggas ain't expect, yo, that nigga gonna take that line down. He too quiet. Come on, son. Y'all know better than that. And you got to respect what I'm doing right now. You got to respect what I'm doing right now. Y'all niggas was put on blast for the whole world to hear. The whole world heard how y'all niggas snake the bro. The whole world heard that shit, right? Gave them niggas false information about me, man. Got my wife look crazy. I'm beating on my motherfucking wife. My motherfucking love story been on motherfucking social media, Facebook, Instagram for about five, six, seven years. The general public ain't never seen no bad woman. And y'all niggas ain't never seen no bad woman. I, yo, I couldn't believe y'all niggas did that to me, man. That shit was crazy. And my wife ain't deserve that. Fuck she do to y'all niggas. 
Whoa, son, that shit was crazy, son. So now, yeah, man, so now, I'm here to fight off on niggas because, see, I ain't going to do no bitch shit. Because I'm big fruit, loyal to a fuck, I always say it. I still love y'all punk motherfuckers. But I'm going to G-check y'all. And, yo, listen, I just said how I feel about the ass. I'm going to jail. I see y'all niggas be fighting. So y'all niggas need to put that shit in the books. Y'all cross fruit path. Mikey, Hedo, we fighting. I'm going to fuck both of y'all niggas up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking to. If I ain't said them niggas' name or video, they ain't know who the fuck I'm talking to. I'm going to fuck both of y'all niggas up. Straight jack. I'm fucking y'all niggas up. Y'all niggas better learn how to fight, tie bow, go to the gym, whatever. Off site, we scrapping. It ain't nothing to talk about. Now, I'm not going to sit here and talk about niggas' personal lives. This is Double Banger, episode one and episode two. I ain't going to sit here and get in the niggas' personal lives. I ain't going to talk about niggas' bedrooms. I ain't told doing none of that bitch shit, son. We gonna talk about us as men. I'ma start with this motherfucker snake in the grass, Mikey. Y'all know him as Puerto Rican Mikey. We know that nigga is Mikey Irizarry and LG. He ain't never been a killer. Always a cool nigga. Everybody like Mikey. So let's start it. But yeah, everybody liked Mikey. Mikey been getting money. Yeah, we know that. Mikey name ain't on nobody paperwork. We know that. Mikey did a little bit here and there. Mikey ain't never fuck with no fags in jail. We know that. That's all good. We know that. I can even say Mikey was doing a bit. Mikey came down from up north, got on the stand, and said what the fuck he had to say to help a nigga, rest in peace, Rashawn, to help a nigga who was facing the body. Yeah, Mikey did that. Mikey, Mikey held that down. I can say all that. But what y'all don't know about Mikey is the shit I'm going to tell y'all today. First and foremost, let me say this, right? The reason why I'm on YouTube today is because of this nigga Puerto Rican Mikey, son. One day out the blue, Puerto Rican Mikey on my jack. Yo, ooh, I want to get some shit off my chest. I'm like, shut Yo, this nut shit, I want to talk about it. Word. Then do it. Yo, I know this nigga named St. Lance. I can call this nigga. Ah, ah. I want to do this shit, get this shit off my chest, this shit been bothering me, ah, uh ah. -huh. But, this is his words. If I'm lying, I'm flying, son. I don't got a cap, son. Keep it 100, big fruit. But if I do it, the hood going to vilify me. Over this nut shit. But if you with me, ain't nobody going to say shit. Big fruit, no you to a fault. Fuck it, I ride shotguns with Puerto Rican Mikey. I don't know St. Laz. I don't know YouTube. I don't know shit. I'm big fruit, no you to a fault. I'm going to take one for the team. The homie want to get some shit off his chest. He want to send that off right. He want to... He want to vent. I'm going to rock with him. I think I made the right choice up until now. So now, let me tell y'all this, right? Mikey wanted the LG story to be me and Mikey. You know what I'm saying? Once I agreed, I had an opinion. I had a say-so. We wanted the LG story to be about love, about good memories, and try to erase that bad taboo that CMB stamped on my projects. 
So if you go back and listen to that playlist, that's that's that that was our tone. That was our sentiment. Right? But what y'all didn't know was the LG story was created for Mikey. Mikey wanted to get some shit off his chest. Also, Mikey wanted to make amends and apologies to Nut Family. I'm putting it out there, nigga. That nigga's violated, so I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the public know what it is, son. Mikey wanted to make his amends and apologies to Nut Family, which was a beautiful idea. I loved it. Yeah, you know why? Cause they was dragging Mikey through the mud. You know, the death of Nut. Nut's supposed to have died in his arms. I don't know, I wasn't there. Nut died in his arms. He stripped the body. Yeah, Mikey took the jury. Mikey took the money. Mikey took the house keys, went back to the crib, cleaned up shop. Yeah, you see, this is the shit y'all don't know. And the hood was vilifying him for that. Not fruit. I don't know what happened. I'm not making a judgment call. I did my big while that shit was going on and I never judged them. Why? I don't know Puerto Rican Mikey to be a sucker on no snakey sh I don't know him to be that. I'm not listening to what y'all listening to and when I get free, when I see Mikey, if we have that conversation, we gonna have it, but I'm not, nah, Mikey ain't, nah, nah, I ain't, I ain't jacking that. So the hood was killing him. The hood was, yo, Mikey set nut up. Yeah, world of them kidnapped Mikey, he made him set nut up. Yeah, those was the rumors. See, y'all don't know this shit. Y'all don't know this shit. These was the things said about Mikey. I don't jack none of that shit. I'm a man's man. I don't believe Mikey did that. I don't believe Mikey set nut up. I don't believe Mikey took nut shit. Maliciously, I don't believe those things. And when I finally got to come home and talk to the homie, he told me, "Nah, son, this is what happened. I dropped the ball. Ooh, I, I fucked up, but it wasn't malicious." And I took his word for it. Never questioned him if he set the nigga nut up. I don't believe that. Nah, why would I disrespect him and ask him that? Never asked him that. Never judged them by the rumors. Big fruit, loyal to a fault. I rocked with the nigga. He ain't never did nothing to me. And I don't believe the rumors. And he's not moving away to make me think the rumors were true. Cool. My nigga. After what the fuck you did to me, I got to question some things. Yeah, because Mikey, this is what Mikey did to Big Fruit, son. Huh? Mikey brought me to YouTube. Remember, the LG story is for Mikey. That's why Mikey went first. First episode was Mikey. Second episode was Big Fruit. The motherfucking public went crazy. Mikey felt like he had to compete with me. He wasn't my partner no more. Things started to change. We enjoyed it for a minute, but things changed quickly. Next thing you know, this nigga told me, yo, I don't want to do it no more. What the fuck you mean you don't want to do it no more? Ah, uh, yo, I'll... Yeah, I'm going to put it out there, son, because you ain't keeping it 100, son. You violated me, and I... And, and, and I did everything I had to fucking do to make you look halfway decent. You piece of shit, nigga. Yeah. And I don't want to do this shit no more. Fuck you mean you don't want to do it no more? Ain't nobody getting paid off this shit but say that. Oh. We pocket watching now, nigga. I don't care what that nigga St. Lad's making off the motherfucking videos because we came to the table knowing we wasn't going to make no money and we agreed that we didn't want no money. We thought somebody would pick this shit up, give us a, a fucking TV or movie deal. That's what the fuck we thought. And in the process, you were supposed to apologize. That's the fuck we here for. We ain't talking about no money. 
Why is the narrative money now? I'm confused, my nigga. What's up? He backed out on me. All right, man, you do you. I don't know. I ain't gonna leave nothing out because I don't want motherfucker. Yo, he left his product. Yeah. Oh, yo, I'm gonna do my own book. <laughs> I'm gonna. I ain't giving away the definite for free. Yeah, this is the shit he on, right? So we gonna wait and see if he ever do that fucking book. Because he beat me in the head with the I want to do the book, make some money, and give his family some money. Yeah, that's what nut, that's what Mikey said. So we all going to sit back and wait. Because I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to keep rocking on YouTube like I told y'all. We're going to see if the book ever come out and the proceeds go to nut family. Because that's the fuck he told me. Anyway, he backed out on me. This LG story shit popping. How the fuck do I clean this mess up? You know what Big Fruit did? <laughs> Big Fruit, loyal to a fault, I always say. I'm going to sit here and be honest with the people, son. I sat in front of this motherfucking camera and lied to y'all. I lied to y'all. I told y'all, yo, Mikey got a book deal. Mikey gonna do this. Mikey gonna do that. We gonna get Mikey on the real Big Fruit podcast and do the life of Mikey. All that shit was cat. <laughs> what the fuck I should have been telling y'all was, Mikey said, fuck y'all. He ain't doing the LG story no more. Because he ain't making no motherfucking money off of it. That's what the fuck I should have been telling y'all. And I'm left here to finish this entertaining story that we started by myself. That's what the fuck I should have been telling y'all. Because Big Fruit, loyal to a fault, I always say it. That's what the fuck I did. I cleaned up Mikey mess. And I, cleaned, and I finished the LG story by myself. And this the nigga that brought me to YouTube. So now I'm starting to see this nigga. He moving. Yo, he not moving right. He left a nigga for dead. You got to watch a nigga like that. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't, I ain't know. It is what it is. So now shit start going crazy on YouTube. Niggas got my name in their mouth. Niggas making videos about me. Puerto Rican might be jumped on a nigga video and left a comment. Oh. He keep breaking my heart, son. First you back out on me on the LG store. Now you wanna you wanna ops video leaving comments. You know we fall out. I'm big fruit, son. You know I went zero to a hundred. Ain't nothing changed, nigga. I'm the same nigga walking out of projects, beating niggas up. I'm the same nigga chasing niggas round back down, nigga. You got me fucked up. What's up? So I G checked the nigga. Yeah. Yeah. He oh why this nigga coming at bullying me. Now nah, I ain't bullying you, nigga. I'm letting you know who the fuck I am and I'm teaching you how to treat me. So we ain't speak for a minute. See, this is the shit y'all don't know, son. This is the shit y'all don't know. This is the nigga I was riding with. This is the nigga I came to YouTube so nobody would fuck with him. Yeah, this how he treating me. So now, we ain't talking for a minute. We somehow patched that shit up. He explained this self. He apologized. Next thing you know, some more shit going on on YouTube. These niggas backdoor. He backdoor me again, but this time he dragged Edo into this shit. This shit crazy, son. Head on screenshot, text messages, holding on to him. I get the text message. What the fuck is y'all niggas doing? Yo, straight line me up for the ops, son. Like, I was a piece of shit. Like, I didn't matter to them. I just told you the extent of me and Mikey relationship. I just told you how I had this nigga back. I just told you how I never judged him. Now, after all that shit he pulled on me, son. I gotta question some things, homie. 
Them niggas chasing you out the projects. Yeah, it wasn't CMB. I always said that. You had a problem with the brothers. Shout out the Bond Pudge, because they might be on the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas chase you up out of LG. I always heard your side. I never heard they side. But now I'm sitting back saying, well, maybe these niggas is justified. Because look how you handled me, my nigga. Maybe them niggas is justified on why they don't like you. You did something to them niggas because you did something to me, nigga. More than once. Yeah. Then it's the rumors now. Now we're going to address the rumors. I personally didn't feel it was ever a topic for me. Yo, he setting it up. Hell no, that wasn't even a conversation. But now I got the wonder, motherfucker. Yeah. Leroy said it. Star said it. Uh-huh, see, see? Now I got to question shit because you handled me fucked up. I'm going there, my nigga. Y'all dragged my wife, man. And when I see one of y'all niggas, y'all niggas gonna pay for that shit. We gonna fight. And I, and I advise you to just fight. We gonna fight. We gonna fight, my nigga. Y'all niggas was wrong. Yeah, so I'm questioning them rumors now. You crazy motherfucker. I'm questioning that shit. You know what I'm saying? You told me you took the motherfucking jewelry. You told me you took that money. You told me you took them house keys. Not maliciously. I'm questioning that now. Was you telling me the truth, my nigga? Was you telling me the truth? Nick, yo... Niggas talking about fruit rabbit. Yo, 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 are you serious, man? Let me tell you something, son. Let me tell you something. This is some real shit I'm about to tell y'all niggas. It's a whole lot of niggas from Lafayette Gardens that was able to walk the streets of Brooklyn safely because they had my name in their mouth. It's a whole lot of niggas from Lafayette Gardens that was able to survive in prison because they had my name in their mouth. I ain't mad at them niggas. They was very smart for doing it. But come on, my nigga. All y'all niggas need to look in the mirror. All y'all niggas need to say, yo, not the homie, son. Nah, I ain't deserve that shit, son. That shit Mikey and Hedo pulled on me. Hell no. So I'm finished with this nigga Mikey. Mikey ain't called my phone because he pretty much know he done. You know what I'm saying? He did the dumb shit when he jumped on the op. fucking YouTube page. Then he did this dumb shit with the, with the, uh, with the op again. Let Hedo screenshot his text message. And the text message went all around Brooklyn. Like, he know he done with me. So I'm going to move on. Now we're going to talk about this nigga Hedo. This jealous and envious motherfucker. Let me say something to you, right? Hello is a spineless, cowardly motherfucker. I still love him. I still my brother. And a nigga couldn't do nothing to him when he was with me. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't got to be no tough nigga for fruit to love you. Like you or love you. Or fuck with you. I like you, I like you. I don't give a fuck what nobody think. But that was my brother. And like I said, when I, when I say my brother, I mean, I'm talking, we slept in the same house. If it wasn't his house, it was mine. If it wasn't my house, it was a hotel. If it was a hotel, it was a villa on a vacation. We cooked for each other, wives and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? We vacation together. This is this is my brother. We done did vacations on my dime. Vegas, Myrtle Meat, Myrtle Beach. This is my brother. Like I said, I'm not getting in niggas' personal business. I'm not going in niggas' bedrooms. I'm going to address our relationships and how y'all niggas did me. This is my brother. 
talk to nigga every day. Every day. And just feel, I can tell a nigga my business because he's my brother. He, I'm feeling like he can tell me his because I'm his brother. I'm here to uplift you. I know you sitting back watching me move and shake. I know you sitting back watching me build businesses and buy cars and buy diamond rings and fur coats for my wife. Why you don't do none of that for yours? Yeah. I, I know all that shit got to burn your soul. While you sit on your couch, I work two jobs. I know that shit hurt. I know I know it hurt, son. Nigga did 23 years, come home. Two whips. House. Property. <laughs> Time shares. Flying in and out of different states. Like, I know that shit bothered you. Cause it's all up in your face. You know why it's in your face? Because you my brother and I got you with me every move I make. You my brother and I tell you every move I make. Can't be doing that. I learned because you, you you played yourself. Yeah, you was a jealous and envious motherfucker. But you know what, son? Ain't no nigga going to ever trust you again, man. Not with no information. You talk like a woman. You tell it all. That shit is crazy, son. That's all you do is gossip. I know niggas' personal business because of you. And I never thought niggas would know my personal business because of you. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I was totally wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All y'all niggas that's up close and personal with that nigga, I know your business. Yeah. I know your business, bruh. So if you got some shit going on in your home, in your bedroom, that he know, I know. But my stupid ass didn't think he would be taking my life and telling people. And adding shit and lying. Because all that shit was a lie. You know what I'm saying? But, yo... You're the jealous and envious motherfucker, man. And that shit break my heart because I, I I was never making moves and doing things to rub them in your face and make you feel less of a man. I was always doing things and making moves and letting you know about them because I always wanted to uplift you. And I wanted one day for us to be able to sit at the table and do things together. But I had to uplift you first, bro. Because you got a lot of shit with you. And all that shit you got with you. All that shit you got with you. Mm, 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 mm. Man, oh man. It's going to catch up to you, bro. You ain't going to never have no good luck, son, for crossing me, man. Never. Because ain't no nigga out there going to fuck with you. The way I did. And if they do, they a motherfucking fool. Look how he did me. What the fuck he think he gonna do to y'all? <laughs> like real talk. I can't believe y'all niggas did that shit to me, man. Dragged me on YouTube. Disrespected my wife. And y'all know all that shit was propaganda. Y'all know all that shit was fugazi. Y'all know all that shit was rhetoric bullshit. And y'all was comfortable with that. And if you wasn't comfortable with it, y'all was too cowards and never step into the plate and hit my jack, man. World the mother, man. World the mother, son. And the world need to hear that shit, son. Y'all niggas is dead wrong. Y'all niggas ain't cool, niggas. I don't give a fuck how much drug money Mikey got. I don't give a fuck how many niggas Mikey know. Mikey suspect, man. Mikey is snake in the motherfucking grass. Word the mother, son. And when I see him, I'ma beat the shit out of him. He know it. I swear that on my soul. That's word the shoot shot. When I see you, I'ma beat the shit out of you. 
That's real talk. Yeah, man. And hello, man. Whew. I want to see what you're doing from a year, a year from now. A year from now. It's the end of 2022. We seen how this year ended. We're going to see how the year in 2023 ends. I want to see what you're doing. I want to see what you're doing, bro. You ain't going to never have no motherfucking good luck for the way you handled me, man. And Mikey, man, shh, yeah, the way you handled me, son, all those rumors about you, and this shit's a suspect now, son, in my opinion. And I don't give a fuck. You can say I'm suspect, yo. That nigga might have told on them niggas when they got knocked in 89. Y'all can run with that shit all you want. Fruit name ain't on no DD files. Fruit name ain't on no written statements. Fruit ain't never testified in nobody trial. None of that shit, my nigga. Fruit ten, stood ten, do, ten toes down in every maximum state prison in New York State. You know what I'm saying? Fruit ain't never let a nigga do nothing to him. Fruit made sure LG niggas was right when they was around him. It ain't nothing y'all niggas can say or do to discredit me, man. I'm one in a million, man. And can't no nigga in LG carry my jock strap. And that's what the fuck y'all niggas was mad about, son. Y'all niggas just couldn't take the fact that, yo, this nigga getting all these praise. This nigga getting all this love. Remember the LG story was supposed to be about Mike. That's why he went first. I came up next and shit changed. He couldn't deal with that shit, son. He even told me that shit personally. Yo, that shit you and Laz did, he was talking about the LG. Uh, he was talking about the Brooklyn Bronx shit. That Brooklyn Bronx shit, y'all see the numbers today. That shit rung off when me and Laz dropped it. And this nigga supposed to be my partner. You know what he told me? Damn, how do I compete with that shit you and Laz just did? That should have been the first red flag, man. Fuck you mean compete, nigga. We in this together. The numbers me and Laz put up, those is our numbers. Big fruit, loyal to a fault. I always say it. I overlooked that shit when he did it. But I got some more shit I can say. He was doing shit I didn't approve of, but I ain't gonna put I ain't gonna put it out there because then I'm dragging other areas and other niggas into our situation. Like I told you, I'm not here to talk about a niggas' personal lives. I'm not here to talk about what's going on in niggas' beds. I'm not here to talk about what I heard about these niggas, Hedo and Mikey. I'm not here to do none of that. I'm here to tell you my relationship with Hedo and Mikey. What I never did to Hedo and Mikey, but yet what Hedo and Mikey did to me. Yeah, that's what this motherfucking video is about. So when I say where things went wrong in LG in 2022, I'm, yeah, I'm a little tipsy. I'm talking about motherfucking Hedo and Mikey. This should have been the best year of our relationship. We put LG on our backs. We stood ten toes down. We got it to popping. This should have been the best year of our relationships, our friendships, and our camaraderie. Instead, it was the worst. I can't understand that. I can't understand that, son. We sending trophies back home to Mike Senior and David Powell for all the work they did in the community with Sullivan Smith on it. Oh, that's my idea, bro. That's all big fruit. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. That's all big fruit. That's all big fruit. That's all big fruit, bad bro. And this is how they handled me, son. Yo, we don't fuck with that nigga no more. Fuck I do to y'all niggas, son. I ain't no listen, man. It ain't a nigga in LG that can say I kicked their door in and took some money. I fucked their girl, they baby mama, or they wife. They can't say I disrespect their mama. They can't say I touch their kids or disrespect their kids. Can't no nigga in LG say nothing bad about me, son. Yeah, I shot a couple of niggas. 
They know what it is. Other than that, son. Ain't no nigga LG got nothing to say bye bye about me. I ain't duck no smoke in prison. Separation. Separation from a who? Nigga, please. I ain't duck no smoke in prison. Yeah. Other niggas was ducking they smoke. I ain't duck no smoke. None from nobody around the state. I ain't duck no smoke in prison. I ain't fuck with no boys. None of that shit. Like, the fuck? Come on, son. I put LG on my back. And it's a lot of niggas who let me know, yo, I was able to survive in prison because I said I knew you. Yeah, man, y'all niggas acting like I ain't that nigga. And but see, being that nigga rubbed my bros the wrong way, son. My bros is jealousy and envious of me, man. Instead of saying, yo, that's the homie and the homie gonna rock with me. That's the homie and the homie got my back. That's the homie and the homie ain't gonna let nothing happen to me. They ain't appreciate a nigga like me. So when I say fuck them LG niggas, man, that's who the fuck I'm talking about. That's who the fuck I'm talking about. Head on Mikey. You know what I'm saying? I don't want all them youngins out there to think I hate them. I don't hate y'all young boys. I fucks with y'all. I'm a little disappointed in some other niggas. They know who they are. Because they getting the cold shoulder right now. They know who the fuck they are. But shout out to motherfucking Butter, Popsy, Porto, Rayon. I love y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Real talk of my day ones. They know what it is. But yeah, man. Head over Mikey did me dirty, man. Y'all all sat and listened to them YouTube videos by the ops. Y'all heard them say... Head on Mikey told us. <laughs> Y'all heard him say, Head on Mikey said they don't fuck with fruit. So this is my response to that. I gave Head on Mikey the opportunity to hit my phone. I gave Head on Mikey the opportunity to say that shit ain't true. Shit, I gave Head on Mikey the opportunity to hit my jacket and say, Yo, listen, man, the man, man, this how we feel. They ain't do none of that shit. Them niggas tucked their tail between their legs like cowards and kept it pushing. And I'm putting it on blast. So, it ain't gonna be no back and forth shit. Mikey could get in the comments and say all that slick shit he wanna say because we ain't doing none of that. Because ain't nothing I sit up here and said was cap. Ain't nothing I said was cap, bro. I gave him to it real about our relationship. Fuck a rumor. Fuck what who said. Our relationship. This is what it is. So, we not going back and forth. You already know what it is. When I see you guard your grill, I'm going to fuck you up. You already know that. You know what I'm saying? Head up. You already know, son. When I see you, head up gut, I'm going to punch you in your mouth, too. Straight jacket, son. That nigga's violated. My queen ain't deserve that. And my queen is the one who said, yo, nigga, go downstairs and do that video. It, it, it's lit, son. Like, real talk. And on that note, I'm going to end this double banger. You know what I'm saying? Where things went wrong in 2022 in LG. <sighs> Oopsah. I got that shit out of my system. It's over with, bro. We're going to go into 2023 with positive energy. It's over. I ain't taking none of that shit into 2023. Don't respond to me, man. I'm not going back and forth. Y'all niggas know what y'all did. Y'all know how it went down. The text message was real. Hedo really sent that screenshot to me. The whole borough really got it. It is what it is, son. Let's not, let's not make a mockery of the situation. Y'all niggas snaked me. Y'all niggas is suspect. The niggas around y'all need to watch y'all. And it is what it is. Be man enough to say y'all drop the ball with big fruit. That's it, bro. That's it. And on that note, I'm going to get the fuck up out of here and say happy new year. May 2023 be a better year for everybody. Salute.